Welcome to our show, Your Miracle Resource. Today we're going to talk about building your brand team and revenue, but we're going to talk about it personally and professionally. Many people will say, how do I crush my goals? How do I make things happen? Personally or professionally, there's three things that you can do. And we're going to talk about them. Number one, begin a campaign. If you want something, you have to have a campaign and you have to fight for it. Now, I love the professional side of this piece and that is what I get to do. And that's build brand team and revenue with a team of trainers at Miracle Resources. And I know that when we sell product, one of the things that we need to share is not so much about what that product is, but what it can do for people. That's what a great campaign does. A campaign pulls together research. It pulls together resources. That's what makes a campaign work. I brought a visual to show you. This was a picture taken in Italy by my mentor, Dr. Dudley Turner. Uh, Dr. Turner is not only an exceptional photographer, but an excellent communicator. And he gave me this, and I love it. It's called The Lady and the Lion, because it really represents a campaign. In a campaign, whether that is something that you are working to build, you need to share that story. Why do you believe in it? Why does it help the customer? And you have to have the resources as well. For example, she's a warrior. Take a look at this picture. She has a tribe. She has built a campaign. Now let's talk about it from a personal perspective. This picture reminds me of my friend Laura. My friend Laura fought breast cancer valiantly. She was a warrior. She was speaking. She was researching. She was pulling in resources. She was taking different tests, trying different trials to fight breast cancer. I was proud to be part of her campaign and now par very, very proud to raise money for women who care about breast cancer. So being a campaigner means that no matter what you want, personally and professionally, you have to do the research and you have to have the resources to be able to build your campaign to make those goals happen. Now let's take a look at the second area. It's about building a team behind that campaign. Building a tribe of people who will help you make that campaign happen. So this is a great way to show it. We want peace and we want people to love their work in the workplace. So let's take a look at it professionally. We want miracles to happen, right? But to get people to work together in a peaceful manner, respectful manner, that takes training. That's why we started Brand Plus Team Equals Revenue, our national training program. Now, with more than 50 trainers across the country, our campaign is to get people to build brands, teams, and revenue. But if they're not working well together and they're not communicating, we can't really build that team and make the miracles happen. So we have 28 different programs in Brand Plus Team Equals Revenue to actually engage the team in fun and interactive training. That's building your tribe. Now let's talk about it from a personal perspective. Maybe there's a campaign, something that you want. Let's go back to my friend Laura's example. When she was fighting breast cancer, she built a tribe, a team. She educated us on what she was going through. She worked extremely hard to make sure that we understood and always fighting for people to get their mammogram for early and again, prevention. So building a team around what you want to accomplish is key. Then the final part, and that is your voice. Now, I love speaking and I love helping people with the topics that I speak on. Now, most people say, but Catherine, I'm really terrified to give a speech. I understand. I grew up with selective mutism. Most people don't know what that is. It's a social anxiety that I had as a child. My mother did resources with me. She found research to help me, and little by little by little, we worked on baby steps to get me comfortable to come up and speak. Now I speak across the country. And the voice in which you use to educate people about your campaign is your mindset. When I work with people as a communication concierge, they'll come to our private office in a confidential setting. And they'll share with me, Catherine, I'm terrified to speak. I have students who will say to me, Mrs. Miracle, I will pass out. I'll have a panic attack. Well, I work with them and I help them, whether that's students or professionals who fear public speaking. But the focus is your voice. The focus is your campaign, what you want to talk about and what you want to share. That's what your speech is about. Most people think everyone's looking at me. What they're looking for as an audience member is to learn something, and that is your voice. 
So when you have a campaign and you have a team like I shared and you have a voice and people educated to speak on your product and service or professionally be able to work with people and engage them on ways in which your product can help them. Now let's look at the personal side. On the personal side, when we use our voice, what we're passionate about, we have to back that up with research to be credible. We can't just share something that we haven't researched that causes chaos and miscommunication. So as a communication concierge working with people and teams, my goal is to have them speak confidently and credibly. So no matter if it's personal or professional, without a strong voice, you can't build your brand, team, and revenue. So those are your three tips, but I also have another resource for you, and that's our book club. Our book club has been going on, and you can join at any time. I know I have some people listening by podcast. We will Facebook Live this and put it on our Miracle Resources Facebook page. We will also have it on WCTV's page as well. So we're always going to give you resources, but the book club, please know you can join at any time. The resources are valuable for you. They help you not only look at what you want internally, but how you can make it happen externally. The other part of the book, The Discovering Your Dawn especially, is about unlocking your potential. We all know that continual education and making sure that we continue to research and find resources that help us, help us succeed. So today, Your Miracle Resource, our show, is dedicated to helping you build your brand, team, and revenue. Thank you.